Hey folks, for this screencast, we're going to do some stuff with ChatGPT. I think at this point, ChatGPT is pretty old news, but I just never got around to making this video. And what I'm going to do is try and get Chat to make one of my most popular uh, YouTube video codes. So if you go to my channel analytics and you go to lifetime since I've made uh, YouTube videos, MATLAB, help Newton Rapson. It's a two minute video. It's got the most views on my channel, 134,000 views. This is the code that I created way back when, and I have already copied and pasted that into Octave. I just downloaded it. And so here's the code in all its glory. And let's just go through the code real quick. Uh, there's an initial guess. It has an iteration counter. It has that alpha parameter to kind of slow down the iterations. Uh, it has the error in there. And then it has a while loop that basically says like, hey, while the error is greater than a certain tolerance value, I want you to use the newton raphson technique, which is this equation here, and spit out the progress as it's going. And then once the while loop ends, you know, spit out the final guess, x naught, the error, and the number of iterations. And then down here are all of the functions. So the function that we're trying to do is in x squared, sorry, x cubed minus x. And then the derivative of that is 3x squared minus 1. And then the derivative of that is 6x. I don't think we need the second derivative in this case, but it's just there because I think we were trying to find the minimum rather than the 0. And the answer is obviously 1, x equals 1. So I've already run this. If I run it again, it's kind of hard to see in the video, uh, but it says here x0 equals 1, error is like 9.3 times 10 to the minus 6, and the number of iterations is 178. So we're going to do this on the fly. We're going to head over to chat, and we're going to say, uh, please solve x cubed minus x equals 0 using newton Raphson in, I'm going to say MATLAB, Octave, the 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 language itself is interchangeable. And we're gonna let chat do its thing. I'm going to, okay, here we go. Yeah, there's so, that was super fast and it's telling us what it's doing, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's look at the code. So it defines, oh, that's very neat. So it defines an inline function, which is super rad. And then it defines an inline F prime function. It sets the initial guess, we're gonna change that. And then it sets the tolerance to 1e minus 6. We're also going to change that. It also has an iteration counter. And then here's the error value, greater than tolerance. Again, so we're going to change that. This is the al almost verbatim the same code that I wrote. And then, ooh, it has a break loop in case the iterations goes over 100. That's kind of cool. Oh, and there's no alpha parameter. So I'm going to copy this now. Uh, copy code. Frick yeah. And we're going to do a new. And I'm going to hit, I'm just going to run this for now. And I'm going to call this uh, AI Newton Rafson.m. And let's see if it works. Okay, so it says the solution is negative one, but I'm pretty sure there are multiple roots if I had, if I remembered correctly. So first thing first, we're going to change the initial guess to 10. Okay, and then we're going to run that. And okay, so now the solution is one. So it got to the same um, I'm sorry, it got to the same solution. I'm going to get rid of the semicolon here and run it. And it did it in 10 iterations, but I'm going to add that alpha parameter, alpha equals 0 0.1. And I'm going to throw that alpha parameter in here and hit run. And it's probably going to break because it didn't converge. I'm going to get rid of this and say, and, you know, I don't want the break conversions in there because I just want it to go 178 times. So it iterated 200 times, but that's because the tolerance is different. So we're going to go down to the tolerance of 1e minus 5. There you go. Iteration was 178. But all in all, that was pretty awesome. I mean, I don't know how long is this video? Like two, like four minutes? I mean, chat literally created that code in like a fraction of a second. That was pretty awesome. I have used chat GPT in the past and it has actually produced code that has errors, uh, but it actually did pretty well with this code. So that's uh, pretty rad. Um, if you have any questions, post in the comments below. And if you have specific questions on code or you want help from me, uh, shoot me an email. I am piloting this new program where I actually am going to start helping people for code, uh, people helping people with code for a small fee. So shoot me an email, post in the comments, get in contact with me, and I hope you guys have a great time coding.